Good morning. So this morning we're back in the Motura vineyard. These, as I mentioned before, are Albarello uh, plants. They're uh, kind of smaller than the other um, Megamaro uh, plants and basically um, you can't run the machines by here. Buongiorno. Uh, so just kind of look and see how they can pick the grapes. Uh, as you can see, they've got some clippers and uh, they just clip it up, drop it into the bucket and from the bucket it then goes into this little truck here um, and essentially that's how you do it. It's a lot of hard work. I think what he is doing here is just getting the leaves off out of the way so uh, these ladies over here it's easier for them to, to cut it and uh, they're working pretty fast here. I mean look how fast she's going. And there's some activity on the other side as well. But as you can see, this is a long, long I think that it is uh, true for the harvest, but I must control before to see if the chemical analysis uh, are okay. We have the harvest, good potential of animal. The berries are very little. Yeah, yeah, it's well, very, it's, uh, it's very typical. It's common to find uh, in our area, Lambrusco. Lambrusco was born in the Emilia Romagna, in the north of Italy, but it's very famous also in this area. Uh, we can use uh, it uh, in uh, maximum 15% uh, inside the EGT, our EGT between uh, Negramaro and Tumiti. Quickly, so Teo is collecting all of these samples right now. Um, of the Lambrusco grape um, to see if it's ready to be harvested. Um, there are the berries. They're uh, relatively smaller than uh, your Negramaro Primitivo berries, it looks to me like. But um, so he's gonna take these samples back to the lab, get crushed, put into the machines, and basically they look at the uh, sugar level there obviously but also the pH and the acidity and um, to see if it's ready to be harvested just yet and he said towards the end of this process like right here which is before harvest those quantities change rapidly so um, those things are happening in a very fast rate at this at this point in time um, so that's his objective here is to go um, run those tests to see uh, when it should be harvested. <laughs> 